Whether it's video game sound effects that you hear when you're near a gold chest in Fortnite, the iconic theme of Super Mario, or the impending doom you feel from the ambience and alien isolation, audio is a major factor in what makes game experiences memorable. In today's video, we'll show you four different ways, including free ways, to get your video game sound effects and music for your development. We are Ask Game Dev, and this is how to get video game sound effects and music in 2018. Welcome back! If you're new to Ask Game Dev, we make videos to help you learn about the games industry so that you can elevate your games and inspire others. If you're on a game dev journey, consider subscribing. We'd love to help you along the way. Today's video is another entry into our playlist of videos that feature how to source for all of the different software and content you will need for your games. Our previous videos in the series include our video on 6 free software programs for game development that you can check out here, and our video on ways to get art content for your indie game that you can check out here. Now that we've gone over great game engines and art, we're excited to tackle the third piece of the puzzle, audio. So without further ado, here are four options for getting great game sound effects and music into your game. For each option, we'll go over the pros and cons of each. Option 1. Buy licenses. The first and most straightforward option is to buy licenses for royalty-free music and or sound effects. Royalty-free means once you've paid for the appropriate license, there are no additional fees to pay. There are countless sites that sell royalty-free music, and you'll be able to find a lot with a quick Google search. For this video though, we're recommending two that we've tried and had good experiences with. The first is Premium Beat. Premium Beat has been around for as long as we can remember. They have both music and sound effects and are owned by Shutterstock, a popular stock photo website. In terms of music, they have every genre from folk to indie pop to Motown. They even have some great chiptune tracks. Prices for licenses start at 49 US, and that will get you full track along with several edits, loops, and stingers. The other option we've tried is Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle is part of the Envato market, the site where you can buy themes, templates, brushes, and everything in between for media projects. Like Premium Beat, Audio Jungle features both music and sound effects. In addition, Audio Jungle also features a source file section, where you can purchase audio source files and edit them as you see fit. Obviously, these are for the more experienced and adventurous. Licenses for sound effects start at $1 US and we've seen some music loops start at $7 US. Just a quick tip if you decide to go to this route. When purchasing these types of licenses, it's normal for the content provider to have different tiers of licenses. There are a number of things to look out for when deciding on which type of license to buy. Here are a few common examples. Usage, make sure you're covered for all your intended usage. A developer might be quick to purchase a license for video game use, but there might be other uses that you're overlooking at the moment. Do you also intend to use the music for ads about your game? What about your trailer? Or for streaming your game? Sometimes these examples can fall under different or extended licenses above what you're purchasing. Expiry. Is the license in perpetuity? As in forever? Or is there an expiry date? We've seen games have to change their music at a later date because of license expiries. Single use. Is this license only good for one game? Or can you use it for as many games as you're making? This is something to consider if you're buying a license for a song that could end up being the iconic sound for your franchise. Limits. Do they limit the amount of games you can sell? Some licenses only allow for an X amount of copies to be sold before you have to purchase a different type of license. In terms of pros and cons, some of the pros with licensing music or sound effects are it's more cost effective than hiring a composer for a custom asset creation, the tracks are high quality and typically sound great, and there is ample selection. Some cons are that it can be time consuming to find the perfect tracks and sounds unless you're able to get all the sounds and sound effects from the same team or composer, it may be difficult to have a uniform sound, and as we mentioned before, selecting the correct license can get tricky. Option 2. The next option works in a similar way to the first option, except it won't cost you any money. Yes, option 2 is using free licenses. There are a number of music providers out there that offer royalty free music and sound effects licenses for free. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch, so what's the catch? Well, some artists or companies make their music available free to use for a number of reasons like to build and grow their fans and audience, to get credited in work, or to be able to upsell additional services or licenses. One option for music that we found is Ben Sound. As of today, the music on Ben Sound can be used for your games provided that you give credit and follow the Creative Commons license. Attribution No Derives 3.0 
There's a ton of selection here, and the quality is just as good as anything you'd find on a paid site. Bensound has an FAQ on their site for more details on licensing and usage. The pros and cons of using royalty-free music are almost exactly the same as the pros and cons of using paid royalty-free music. The added pro is that the music is free, and the added con is there's less selection to choose from. Option 1 or 2 are great if you can find the right tracks and sounds, but if there's something specific you can't find, or you have a specific vision you'd like to execute on, go with option 3, hire someone, or a team. Indie games have such great music, and that's because we're spoiled with such amazing indie game audio teams. Two we really like are A Shell in the Pit. A Shell in the Pit has done audio for some of the best modern indie games, including Night in the Woods, Rogue Legacy, Invisible Ink, and the upcoming Mineko's Night Market. Number two, Power Up Audio. We've worked on Celeste, Into the Breach, Darkest Dungeon, and the upcoming Super Meat Boy Forever. You'd be in great company with either of these studios. Can you recommend any indie game music teams? Let us know in the comments. If you're on a budget, you can try using an outsourcing service. We've mentioned sites like Fiverr and Upwork in the past. You can also try posting a want ad on the Reddit Game Dev Classifieds. Another out of the box option is to hire someone from your local music school. Just a quick tip for going this route. Like working with any contractor, it's best to have all the terms understood by both parties and agreed upon with a signed contract before any work commences or money changes hands. Some things you might want to address in the agreement are Milestones and deliverables, what is due and when? And how do these deliverables relate to the payment schedule? Revisions, how many revisions are within reason? Ownership, are you purchasing the tracks and sounds or just licensing them? Who has the rights to selling the digital soundtrack? Some pros for hiring an external team include a custom sound. The music and sounds will be tailored to your liking and you'll also know that you'll be the only game with this music. Digital soundtrack sales. If you own the music, you'll be able to sell your soundtrack or provide it as bonus to people who purchase your game. Some cons include management and planning. You'll have to dedicate a portion of your time to planning and managing the project to ensure that everything runs smoothly and your vision for the audio is realized. It can get costly. This can become a more costlier option versus buying licenses, depending on your needs. Finally, we've saved the most fun option for last. Create your own music and sounds. With some basic tools, props, and a little creativity, you can make your own sounds. To make your own sounds, you just have to set up a small recording station. This is our recommended layout. Start with a medium size enclosure, like a banker's box. Line the box with acoustic foam. Place a microphone right in the middle. And if you're recording speech, get a pop filter to place in front of the mic. Now all you have to do is record. Once you have your recordings, use a program like Audacity to clean and edit your sounds. In terms of making music, there are almost too many apps to name. One program we've used is FL Studio, previously known as Fruity Loops. We also have a community member that recommends Reaper. Other popular music production tools include Ableton Live, Reason, GarageBand, Pro Tools, and Cubase. If you know of any more, let us know in the comments. There you have it, four ways to get audio into your game. Let us know in the poll above on which you'd go with. Thanks for watching, we are Ask Game Dev and we make videos on games, the game industry and more. What game do you think has the best music? Let us know in the comments. If you like our content, please subscribe. And if you like today's topic, hit the like button and let us know. We'll see you next week with an all new video.